Hello boys and girls, it's the Cretaceous Kid, and guess what we have today? A new pet. But this isn't a spider, I'm going to have a colony of woodlass in Toto's old enclosure. Now this is what happened to Toto. Um, the wolf spider, I had, um, I couldn't find her for weeks and I assumed her dead. So I put everything out into the garden and sure enough she wasn't there. So, she either dies and, got, and then got buried. Or she um, escaped somehow, so I'm not sure, but there we go. Now we have a spare clue. And uh, what we have over here is some sand mixed in with dirt. Uh, we have some rocks and uh, crumpled leaves for them to hide around in. And the main the enclosure some rotting decaying wood now this offers as a great hide for them and a and the best food source you could possibly offer them so this is their food and hide this is just some extra hide and obviously this is the basis so i'll put some sand with the dirt in there and i'll um catch you later when i'm finished now that's stuff and um, I made a pretty um, cool arrangement of dirt. Just had like um, usually flat over over dead as a little mound, and then and then it dips into like a trench, and then a bigger mound up the side, and then another dip, and that's normal. And the rest are just normal. So pretty cool, but uh, not too simple, not too complex. And um, that should do it for the. Uh, base dirt. With my finger I just made a little trench. If you can see it, uh, don't think you can, I'll just, yeah, there you go. Little trench that I can put my finger in so they can climb around in there. Um, that's cool. Didn't, you, didn't use all of it but um, but it should be safe and sorry. Always get, with this, always get more than you need because you never know. Now, time for the um, rocks and the clean leaves. Got the rocks in, just um, placed them down hard in various parts of the enclosure. Now we'll just put some leaf litter everywhere in the enclosure. And I spread around the leaf litter and um, just put an extra rock there. So that should be finished. Um, now for the final um, part of the enclosure and the most important part the food for the woodlouse spiders and the hide, the wood. Now for a woodlouse spider enclosure, woodlouse spider, excuse me if I keep saying woodlouse spider, just kind of used to it for some reason, I mean woodlouse, okay, there we go. Now for your wood, for your woodlouse, you need um, it to be light, Soft and flaky. That's that's the stuff they eat. They don't just eat normal wood. It has to be soft, easily flaking off, and um, light for its size. First, we're gonna put the big piece in. Just get to focus. There we go. And um, there we go. Then I'll see when see you back when I've um, adjusted everything and put. Or, um, made room and put all the rest of the bark in. It's done and it's looking good. So, um, there it is. It's from a different angle. Now, that is a lot of places where they can hide, and I'm gonna get lots of them. So, um, first, I'll show you the leftovers of the enclosure. We have pretty much no wood wood left we have a few wood chips and stuff but that's it two rocks left one big one one medium one and uh a little bit of um dirt left so i'll meet you back when i've collected some wood lass. here are my wood lass. um what i could find they were hiding under pot plants but um i'm sure this is enough to start a colony Anyway, they're gonna go in that beautiful enclosure because when I saw them, they were starved. They didn't have anything to eat, no wood, just dirt. So, um, 
they're gonna be released into a buffet now. So, okay, no music over this one this time. Just releasing them. Three, two, one, and. Did we, did we get that? I don't think we did. But, there they all are. And they're already getting used to it. They're getting up. And we'll come back later and see how they do it. So the biggest one, which I have named Otis, is um just he's getting used to it. He's, I think he's eating. There's a smaller one. Of course, I'm not going to name all of these because that would be um, painstakingly awful. Because there's so many and I wouldn't be able to keep track. They all look the same. And anyway, uh, and plus, they're going to um, mate and have a colony in here. Then I'm going to release them. Then I'm going to, but a few of them I'm going to keep. Then I'm going to breed them to the, have a big colony. Then release them and so on and so on. And in the end, there'll be a really big colony. So that would be cool. A few of them are also lingering around in there. Oh, also, once I release a few colonies in the garden, I expect a woodlouse spider invasion here <laughs> because they eat these guys. I always see dead woodlouse spiders in the house, but they're alive ones. Strange. But, um. Okay, so that should be it for the video. Um, please like and subscribe. And um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.